tell me a little bit about what's going on here today. Well, uh, today's contingency, we're down here in, uh, in El Centro and having the Imperial 250 off-road race. Uh, today was just insane. You know, everything that I've been dreaming about putting together as far as having the, the guys uh, doing the freestyle and just all this action and having a beer garden and right in the middle of it where you can stop in and have a, have a cocktail or have a beer. And uh, we were playing the TV show from Prim. Uh, that's actually going to be airing on uh, May 10th at 5 o'clock on Fox Sports Net. The course uh, was around 50 miles and we modified it a little bit so that we could avoid, uh, I guess the Rocket Club from San Diego is going to be shooting rockets off the same day as the race and they're going to be shooting rockets like 25,000 feet in the air. So we had to, we ended up moving the course uh, away from that so that we wouldn't have our, our spectators and uh, you know we had to modify quite a bit in order to make sure that we were going to have a safe event and uh, but the course is is pretty amazing there's even though there's not a whole lot of altitude change on the course uh, there's a lot of terrain change and there's there's some real smooth fast stuff and then there's some ungodly rough stuff uh, there's this one road called gypsum road that Wait till you see it. I mean, it's 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 incredible. Reno is going to be incredible. Um, we've got so much stuff planned for that race. Uh, there's going to be incredible parties that are hosted parties, hosted hosted cocktails, and and uh, lots of bands playing in different places. Uh, we're closing down the whole street in downtown Reno, and all the cars will park there all day. And contingency is going to roll through the cars, contingency and tech and everything. Uh, we're going to have bands on the street, we're going to have food vendors, uh, we're going to have some incredible uh, awards presentations uh, in, in, uh, in the El Dorado Casino. We're going to have uh, freestyle motocross with Monster Energy doing all the, the freestyle shows and, and some of the X Game riders. Uh, we're going to be also doing the, the uh, freestyle show out at the racetrack so that you know, when all the cars leave the start line and there's not much going on, there's going to be a lot of action happening with that in the Freestyle BMX. And uh, we're going to have a, a large VIP hospitality tent with uh, cocktails and, and Italian food. And everything's going to be like, like we haven't seen in off-road racing before. And people can actually camp on site if they'd like to, uh, set up their pit. Uh, they can, the family can stay in town in a nice hotel and they can have their pit all set up and they can go out and free run whatever they want 24 7. So it's a lot like Maha where you can go free run when you want to, when and where, and you can just go for it. And uh, you know, we've never really had that in the United States before. So it's going to be really interesting. Our, our vision for ACRA is uh, to create uh, events like nobody's ever seen before for off road uh, and have all of those events nationally televised and do things that uh, really haven't been done to promote the racers. You know, the racers are the ones that create these events. If it wasn't for the racers, we wouldn't have them. So we're going to be doing everything that we can to promote these guys and, and try to bring more sponsorship and more activities. And kind of what you see here for this contingency, um, I'd like to see this like, like 20 times bigger than what this is right here. And we, we can do that. This next race in Reno will be the vision that I have um, and we'll be able to have contingency at, or all of all of these vendors out on site during the race and we'll be able to have beer gardens and and hospitality VIPs from all the hotels and and um, you know make it so that people want to come to off-road races and and you know eventually um, at this race we may even have motorcycles and ATVs and so we'll have action going constantly and one of the things that we'd like to do is have uh, have the motorcycles and ATVs racing at the same time as the cars and trucks except on a separate course but they come through pipes into and in front of the spectators so that there's always action going on and always stuff to see